Hi, Shanna Rowe Jackson here from Caution R Stat Play. Welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, hello, welcome to my channel. This is my second ever studio vlog. <laughs> um, I'm actually filming the intro after the fact, so this is the progress I made last weekend on this video. I'm filming this intro a week after I actually filmed the stuff, because I can only really film on the weekends. I explained that in my last vlog. I have to work during the week, and so... This video footage that you're about to see is a week old now. And yeah, so you're going to see a couple of unboxings and me getting ready for a new commission and what I was doing with this painting. So stay tuned if that's something that interests you. <laughs> Okay, so starting things off, I am back to working on my oil painting and I'm laying in other parts of the background. And as with last week, I am going to be going back and forth between voiceover and real time because the parts where I'm painting need to be sped up a little bit because obviously this vlog is going to be long enough as it is. And so I wanted to get a few other things in here besides just working on this painting. Plus, I really like to listen to music while I'm working, and I like to have TV shows on in the background and things like that, and I didn't have to worry about having copyrighted material on in the background doing it this way. So I'm just laying in some shadows and kind of getting that blurry bokeh effect. I love doing this with oil paint. It, it's just so easy to blend things out and get that blurred effect with oil paint. Looks like one of my packages came today. All right, let's see. I am going to put this on a tripod so we can make it a little bit easier to see what's going on here. Okay, so the first thing that I want to show you from this box is this fun book. An or the Organic Artist. Make your own paint, paper, pigments, prints, and more from nature. Something about this just excites me so much. I think it's because nature inspires a lot of my artwork, and so I think it would be really, really rad to make my own art supplies out of nature. I live out in the booms, so I have plenty of nature around me right in my own yard. We have gardens, we have the woods, we have a stream. We have all kinds of fun stuff and I'm hoping that I can find some of the stuff right in my own backyard to make my own art supplies. If I do, I'll try to make a video on it. I might end up being too lazy or not having enough time. This is my problem. I find really cool concepts or books and then Mm, I may not follow through. <laughs> so don't hold me to it, but I would love to make my own paint or some of my own pencils. There's some really cool things in here. Um, like the contents shows you how to make charcoal, pens, inks, ink wells and paint dishes, paint brushes, pigments and paints, crayons, paper, printmaking, sketchbook, and journal. This is exciting. So I can't wait to do some of these. I might end up doing more than one video that utilizes this book. If that's something you're interested in seeing, let me know in the comments below and I'll see if I can make that happen. Again, typically speaking, like I'm not the girl who's going to stretch her own canvas because oh, I'm kind of lazy and I like my pre-made stuff. But something about this really drew me to it. And I don't know, I just think it'll be fun. And I might even be able to get my husband to guest star in helping me. So the next thing is something that I plan to get my husband to guest star in on. I can't even fit it in this, the frame. It is a candle making kit. And if you're somebody who follows Chloe Rose, you've probably already seen this candle making kit because let's face it, I saw the video and I went straight to her affiliate links and bought said kit. And I also bought the pigments that she got as well. Pigment powder. So let's take a look at these first. And again, I will be doing a video on this and I already talked to my husband about doing it. He's on board. He actually used to like making candles or he still likes making candles. 
And growing up, me and my sister used to make candles. I couldn't tell you how many pots and pans we ruined because we probably didn't do it the proper way. But we used to make candles and I remember making some fun ones in fun jars that I think my dad still has a couple that I made him where I put dried flowers in it. And we were just really creative kids. Others would call us destructive. <laughs> I'm fairly certain my sister also melted down a bunch of crayons. It was a, it was a thing, but we always were finding ways to entertain ourselves anyways. And I used to love making candles. And since my husband also loves making candles, we're going to do it together. And I also have a candle making kit that my husband bought me years ago. You'll see that in the other one. Cause I think we'll combine different candle making kits so that we could utilize all the materials we have on hand or at least have more materials to use while we're doing that video so that's coming up soon I don't have an exact date on that it really depends on our schedules but you'll finally get to meet my husband I don't know if he'll show his full face he's a little bit modest but yeah look at these pigments Ooh, this is exciting and of course this is something that I can keep on hand to utilize in other projects it'll be mostly crafty things I don't think I'll make paint or anything from them just because I mean I might try it but it doesn't really have light fast information on it so you know how I am with that stuff but I don't care if it's a candle or you know something crafty like that I'm not as strict about it but look at all these fun colors I think I got like a 25 pack or a 50 pack I don't even remember now I didn't get the largest pack but I have enough here that I'll be able to get some stuff done. So that's fun. And again, you've probably seen this stuff if you watch Chloe Rose. If you don't, I'll link her channel in the description because, again, I saw that she had tried this kit. And it just looked so cute. Like, it looked like the perfect... Well, this comes separately than the candle making kit. But these are the pigments she used as well. Um, but the kit just looks so fun. And it brought back memories from when I was a kid. And we used to just, um, we used to be able to buy wax remnants, like bags of wax. And I think people use them to, like, as wax melts. But at places like Yankee and Candle and all that stuff, they used to have bags of wax. So I used to do that. I'd get those, like, they weren't very expensive because it was just spare wax. And try that, but I'm pretty sure when me and my sister were really young, we used to just take what was left of old candles and do that. And as I mentioned, my sister, being the creative genius that she is, um, we melted down some crayons at one point. <laughs> and so we were some crazy kids, and well, we're kind of crazy adults too. So here we are anyway. And my sister is still very creative. Actually, she has her own crochet business. She writes her own patterns and she also has a craft business. Her crochet business is um, Blackstone Designs. I'll link that. And she also has a business where she does a bunch of like different kinds of crafts. Um, she's so creative. I'll link that as well since I've been talking about her. I might as well kind of brag her up a little bit. All right, so I'm opening this kit. I don't know if I want to open it all the way, but here's the wax, soy wax and stuff. And you'll see more of this. I just kind of want to see it. I'm pretty excited. Oh, it smells good. It almost smells like citronella. It even has something so that you can um, check the temperature, a thermometer. That's what they call it these days. Jeez, um. But this is what I'm really interested in. I'm sorry. I have, I try... <laughs> My good tripods are being used um, to face my my um, oil painting that I'm working on. And so that's why I don't have one that's really, like, above this table enough. Popsicle sticks. Oh, and it does have the rose thing that Chloe had. Oh, this is fun. And it's got a little pot to melt it down. I don't really need to get into all the details on it. And some fragrance... My husband will like that. Oh, this is probably, this must be the one that I'm smelling that smells like citronella. What a great kit. And this really wasn't too bad. I'll link it in the description. Um, of course, you can also find it at the video. I'll link of Chloe's if you want to do that. I just thought, like, what a fun idea. I have been wanting to make candles again for a long time, and like I said, I do have a candle making kit, but 
I don't think it's as inclusive as this one is. And so I figured between the two kits, we could come up with some pretty cool candles. And I'm going to put this back. So I'm going to bring this in the house in a little bit and show the Hubster. I probably should have unboxed it with him, but I am too excited. And clearly I'm a good wife. All right. This is what I'm kind of excited about. I love that it actually comes with candle holders. Um, oh, there goes one of the lids. So we've got a nice frosty looking clear one. A dark one. That's kind of cool. Also, I like to paint on glass. I don't know if I'll paint on these. That might be kind of fun. I haven't painted on glass in a long time too. It's, it's hard when you have so many different interests to keep up with all of them. But I used to paint candle holders all the time, even though I didn't ever end up making... Actually, I might have some. Maybe we'll put some of the new candles in that too. I'll have to find where my painted stuff is. But yeah, and then there's a white one. So this is gonna be cool. I can't wait. I don't know when we'll get to do it because, like I said, it depends on our schedule. And we've got a healing pup that we have to worry about from his surgery. So we'll see what we have time for. We might actually be able to do that. So we'll have to do this in the house. So, yeah, that's what I got in this package. I have one more package coming from Blick because I'm just a maniac for Blick and I can't seem to keep myself off that site. But, yeah, this is one of my little hauls for this video and hopefully the other package from Blick will come while I'm you know sometime this week so I can show you what's in there too because there's something really cool in that that I will be doing another video on at some point because now at this point a lot of the stuff I order is like oh I could do that for a video but this candle making kit really was like oh that'll be a fun date day at home and my husband loves to make candles. He loves candles in general. And it's something crafty we can do together. So I'm really excited about that. And it'll bring back memories since it's something I've done a lot of in the past. All right. So, yeah, there's that for now. If the other package comes, I'll show you that in a little while. Okay. So I'm back in the studio today. I'm going to work on this a little bit more. I kind of want to lighten this stuff up in the back. I don't know. I keep going back and forth with it. I'm not too much of a fan of that medium because it made everything so shiny a little bit sooner than I would have liked. Um, I'm going to be up here for maybe an hour or two. I want to get some work done on this painting, maybe make a couple TikToks. And then my husband is actually, sorry, you probably just saw my finger. My husband is downstairs with our dog who's healing and then... I will be relieving him of his duty so he can go out and do yard work. We're tag teaming, um, caring for the dog today. So I'm going to do as much as I can while I'm up here. And then I'm going to see what I can do from the house. Maybe I have a <clears throat> preliminary sketch that I'm working on for a, an, an upcoming drawing that I'm gritting right now. So maybe I'll work on that when I get back down. But that's what's on the agenda for today so far. I feel like I have heard it said that doing a painting is similar to doing a dance and I don't remember who said it honestly and maybe I'm just making it up in my mind honestly I don't remember if anybody knows where the quote came from I don't even remember the quote it's something to the effect though of the back and forth and kind of the effort that it takes to work with the painting and how it kind of works back towards you I don't know how to explain it but there's two there's this to and fro and this this balance that you have to find with your painting especially while you're going through the ugly stages because there will be multiple ugly stages and that's why you keep hearing me refer to going back and forth I'll put it I'll put something in and I'll like it and then there'll be just one little thing that I don't so then I'll fix that and then there's just like this this teeter-totter effect of two steps forward, one step back throughout the whole process. And that can be frustrating, but sometimes it's almost therapeutic 
when you recognize that and you can just let go and just let it happen because it's all part of the process. And that's really what I'm trying to do here. I'm trying to let it be and I'm trying to just be involved in the process and appreciate the process because I'm a perfectionist and it's difficult sometimes. But I remind myself that I love doing this. There's a reason why I love doing this. So as frustrating as it can be sometimes, um, it's there's still nothing else I'd rather be doing. And so in the times that I am able to get into the studio, which are few and far between, I try and remind myself of that. It doesn't always work. However, it has seemed to be working with this painting because I know inherently that oil is just one of those mediums that you have to slow down and kind of let it be and just let the process be what it is. And um, I have to trust my own knowledge and trust my instincts and know that I will come out with something that will be a painting in the end <laughs> and others can judge if it's good or bad, I guess. Okay, so it's the next day and my other package came. I'm down in my living room now, nursing my sick puppy to health. Well, he's not sick, but he just had surgery because he had a tumor on his foot and he ended up having to have a toe removed, which is really unfortunate because this is the second time this has happened. So this is the second toe he's had removed just on a different foot, it's starting to become a trend. But Anyway, he's being baby today, and I've been watching a lot of Little House on the Prairie. I don't know why. I have no idea. I put it on. I haven't watched it since I was a kid, and that's what I've been up to today. Got some video editing done, and then I was happy to see them deliver a package. So this one came from Blick. There's not much in here, but I wanted to show you because this is going to be for an upcoming... So the first thing is just something, it's a restock, actually. I need to find a different way to store my acrylic paint. Somehow this got broken and this has happened before, but actually I think the paint tube like clogged or something. Clearly I don't have my proper tools here because I'm using a ballpoint pen. I could go get a knife from the kitchen, but why? Why make life easier? I mean, come on. Holy moly. There we go. Sorry for all the loud noise. But anyways, actually, I think this one clogged. I had one that was a different color that got stuck in the drawer that I keep them in and broke. So <laughs> anyways, then this one, I went to use it the other day and apparently it was clogged and I squeezed so hard that it split here. So I don't know what's going on with these tubes. <laughs> I love the paint, but I'm not so happy about the packaging right now because it wasn't very old and, of course, I didn't have anything to put it in. <laughs> you can probably hear my chihuahua in the background. Oh, the joys of pet ownership. He's very old and he's very snuffly. Anyway, sorry. Sorry for the distraction. This is why I don't do a lot of live talking when I'm down here. But anyways, so anyway... This was to replace the one that got clogged and broke, and then I didn't have anything, any empty containers, which I should have bought at the same time as this, but I didn't think to do that for some reason. So the paint got wasted, long story short. I was very depressed about it. I used this color a lot, and I was PO'd. So Blick just had a big anniversary sale, and they had a bunch of kits that they put out specifically in celebration of their anniversary. And this is one of those art kits. So I've been wanting to get a kit like this for a while. It is for printmaking, block printing kit. I'm really excited about this. Um, I did a printmaking class when I was in school. It was an intaglio printmaking class. Very, very old art form. Really, really interesting art form very expensive to get into these days, especially when you have to buy copper plates for it. And a lot of it was kind of frustrating. But yeah, so <laughs> this is probably going to be a cheaper, less frustrating way. I don't have to use anything like acid to get my lines in. I'll talk more about that when I actually do the review. But this is, I think this will be more simple and more enjoyable to do. I think it's got the like lino cutting and things like that and yeah so i'm super jazzed about this kit 
And so you will see this in a future video. I'm sure at some point this will be bandied about in another video, but less obvious because it's not like it's going to be a review or anything. But you'll get to see me playing with printmaking soon. I don't know how soon, but maybe sooner rather than later. This might be something I can do down here while I'm watching my doggy. I don't know, honestly. But yeah, so that's my other package. I don't think I have anything else coming this week that would be interesting to show you. You'll see this in a future video. So just a little update on Gus. He's doing really well. He had to have one of his toes removed on his foot because he had a tumor on it. This is the second time that's happened. Um, his other foot that has the toe missing is kind of hidden under him right now, but yeah. I don't know if this is becoming a trend or what. It isn't cancerous, or at least the first one wasn't. We're hoping to hear back that the other one isn't. We're still awaiting tests on that, but he's recovering really well. He's been sleeping a lot. His personality is coming back, and this one seems to be healing really fast. So he'll be back in the studio as an assistant real soon, yeah. But he can't take those stairs right now, so we've been vegging out in the living room. And he's just been relaxing, haven't you, sweet boy? And he's been enjoying having mummy home with him. So yeah, that's the progress on him. He's having, he's relaxing right now. He just had his medication. He's probably going to fall asleep in a little while. And he's been soaking up all the attention he can get. Yeah. Okay, so I am back up in the studio for a few minutes. I have a commission that I've just accepted, and so I'm getting things prepped for that. I've chosen the paper that I'm going to use, and I'm just cutting it now. I love this paper cutter. One of the best investments I've ever made. I use it all the time. So... Doing this as an eight by ten. Why did I do it like that? Okay. So now I have my 8x10 piece of paper. This is the Canson Me Tints. I don't remember exactly what color this came. This is. It's a kind of a warm gray color. And basically, I am using a colored paper for this because there's actually going to be snow in it. And I find I have a much easier time if with snow or with adding anything white like that if I have a colored ground. And there's actually going to be a dog here in the snow. And he's... Um, I think he's like a yellow lab or a white lab or something like that. And so this color will also complement those colors as well because it's sort of a warm gray, but it's light enough, dark enough so that I can add lighter tones on top, but dark enough um, or light enough, I should say, that it's not going to cause any issues. Like I'm not going to be fighting it when I have to put the lighter colors on and yeah, so it'll be good. It's a good balance anyways. It's a nice gray, but it's warm, but not too warm. And I think it'll contrast nicely with the cool tones that I'm going to put in when I'm doing the snow. But it won't fight the warm tones in the dog. So see, see where I'm going here? It's a nice balance anyways. I love this paper for colored pencil, by the way. It's like 98 pounds, so it's not the heaviest paper, but boy, does it take a beating. It really takes a lot of layers. It's great with OMS. It's just such a versatile paper, and it's one of my go-tos with colored pencils. So I'm really, really excited about this commission. And I haven't been accepting a lot of commissions lately. I'm very picky about the commissions that I accept. This one is for somebody who is very special to me. But I'm picky about it because I only have so much time. And because I'm working mainly full-time at my day job, the time that I have to create art, I want to create the art that brings me joy and that I want to create. I know that sounds 
I mean, it is what it is. Like, I only have so much time. I want to spend it creating the things that I enjoy. And so I don't, I don't accept a lot of commissions. I don't like the added pressure. But this one is fairly low pressure. And I think I'm going to have a lot of fun with it. I really, really like the reference photo. So I think that it'll be good. So I'm not sure if I will be filming the process of it. I might just film some other things that I'm doing in between just because it, it is kind of a memorial portrait and it's something that's kind of special. But I will be probably posting the image of it on social media later on. But anyway, so that's what I just did in the studio. I'm going to work on getting the preliminary outline and transferring it to this paper. Hi. So I had someone order this painting from me this week. So what I'm basically going to be doing now is I'm going to be looking it over to make sure that I have it ready to hang. And it is. I have a wire hanger on the back. It has all the information written. And then I'm just going to look over the canvas and make sure that everything is fine. Nothing got damaged in storage. I like to kind of look down it, make sure there's no dents. It hasn't warped. The tap test, still nice and stretched. No holes or anything like that. Anytime you're storing stuff, there's always a risk. So yeah, it's looking good. This was part of my Sky series. I'm very excited that somebody wants it in their home. It's actually probably the largest piece that was in my Sky series as part of my senior thesis exhibition. And I'm ecstatic. Um, I know the lady who's buying it. She's This is actually the second painting she's bought off me. And so I know it's going to be going to a really good, happy home. And I'm really excited about it. So I'm going to get this ready to meet up with her. And so I'm going to find something like a backing or something strong enough that I can kind of clamp to this so that it doesn't get dented because it's on stretched canvas. And so that's always a risk. And so I like to, I usually find like a piece of board or chipboard or something this one's larger so I don't know what I have in stock that's gonna fit it um, and then very gently clamp it on the edges where it can't damage anything and I usually put a nice piece of um, acid free paper in between just for transport purposes so that this doesn't get dented and so I'm gonna work on that now I don't know that I'm gonna film that because um, my studio is a mess right now from working on that painting and I moved one of my tables out so that I could work on the commission downstairs to be with my dog. So it's a mess right now. I'm not sure which surface <clears throat> or if I even have a surface in the studio right now that's big enough for me to do this on. So probably not going to film that. But I did want to put it in the vlog so that you could kind of be aware of my, my process a little bit when I sell a piece. So yeah, this one's going to a new home. The lighting's off so the color looks a little odd here. But yeah. It's called The Memory, and I'm very, very excited that it's going to a happy home. All right. <laughs> but, yeah, I think I'm going to end this vlog on that happy note. Peekaboo. Because <laughs> I think it's starting to get too long as it is. But, yeah, um, I will see you next week. I'm not sure what I'm doing yet. I don't know that it'll be a vlog. But thank you so much for watching. As usual, have a great day. Bye.